Today we're going to start learning about simplifying expressions and this is going to be part one. And just to remind you, here's the rules of algebra. If I've got 2 times x, I can write that as that. And notice how these two are the same. That's because in algebra I'll put the letters in alphabetical order. x times x is x squared, x times x times x is x cubed. So in general, however many of these we've got, that's the power we're going to have here. And for indices, these are with rules. Yeah, this one here, this one here, and this one here. These are with three main rules where these A and B here are constants. So let's just do some examples to show you that. The rule says we'll add them up, so here I'm going to get x to the 2 plus 3, which is x to the 5. This one it says we'll take them away, so that's x to the 7 minus 2, which is x to the 5 again. And this one here, it says I've got x to the power of a times b, which this one's a and this one's b, so I don't know times them and I get x to the 10. So, okay, that's how we use these rules here. And if you had a number inside here, you'd raise that to the power b, which is outside the bracket. So, let's suppose we had something like would raise this to the power outside the bracket, so it would be this one here. So it would raise this to the, the power 2, so that's 2 squared, so I get 4x to the 4, because remember I'm times as well. So, there we go, that's how we do that. Now, I've got lots of problems here, and um. You should really be able to kind of do them, so what I'm going to do is I suggest if you like you can pause the video here and try and work out these problems yourself. So I'll just pause for a few seconds to give you a chance to do that. Right, so now I'm going to work out these examples for, for you. So, what I do is I collect the terms that are the same because those are the only ones I can combine. So I've got a 4p, I've got a minus q plus 2q, that's going to give us q plus q, and now I've got a plus on the minus all. So, those cancel. And brackets, what we do is we multiply this thing outside by the things inside the bracket. So what we do here is, we do 2 times 3x, that's 6x. And 2 times the 4, that's 8. Next one here. I don't multiply this by what's inside the bracket, I multiply the minus 4 by what's inside the bracket because that's the number that's directly in front of the bracket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply out this bracket first and then I'm just going to simplify what we get. So I get minus 4 times 2, that's minus 8. And a minus 4 times minus 5b is minus, is plus 20b. So we can combine the b's, we'll get 23b minus 8. That's what answer. Now remember the rules here say we we'll add the powers. When we haven't got a power, we'll just imagine that to be a 1. And what we can do is we can times the numbers and the letters separately. So 2 times 3, that's 6, and a times a is a squared. So that would be what answer. 
Now remember the rules here that says that's x, y. So I've got x times y, that's x, y. And that times the two numbers, that's 12, so I get 12 x, y. This one here, I'm going to write it out again and work some work it out on the bottom here. Right, so I'm going to multiply all this by e. I get a, b minus a, c. And then here I get a minus b, a. And then I get a plus b, c. Now these b... This minus b, a can be written as minus a, b. And this is a, b here. So I can combine them. And a, b take away a, b is zero. So therefore I'm just left with b, c minus a, c. So that's going to be the answer to that problem, b minus a, c. And I can't combine them because the b and the a are different letters. Even though those two are the same. On this one, here yeah, what I can do is I can multiply these fractions and simplify these brackets so let's do that that's going to be 2 6 x y and this here is going to be multiply these two fractions i get a minus 3 eighths and x times x is x squared and that can be simplified to 1 third xy minus 3 eighths x squared. Okay. So now here I've got two x's and two pi's. So if I've got a pi plus pi then I've got two pi. If I've got x plus x then I've got two x. So I can write this as two pi times x. This one here now. I've got pi times pi times pi. I can write that as pi cubed. And I hope you know that that's just a constant. You can work that out on your calculator if you want to. And x times y times z is just x, y, z. So there we go. There's the solutions to them problems. And it's not really too complicated. We're just using the rules here and the goal of this course is to master the subject remember